I'll be showing three new agents that are built into the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. This includes the App Builder agent, the Workflows agent, and the Surveys agent. So let's get started. The first new agent is the app builder. And this is pretty cool. This allows you to make apps kind of like vibe coding, but within Copilot chat. And just a note, all three of these agents require the M365 Copilot subscription. So I'll go to all agents and I'm gonna choose app builder. And this is currently in Frontier, which means our early adopting customers have it. So if you don't see it yet, stay tuned, it'll be coming soon. I'll hit add. So what this allows me to do is just by a prompt, this can build an app that resides right here in Copilot and also can be shared out as well. So we'll show how that works. There's a couple of starter prompts and there's some fun ones here. Um, we'll start with the run weekly scrums. That's a basic one, but it's gonna build an app to run my team's weekly scrum meetings, gives each person, we're gonna say two minutes to talk and remind them what to cover, et cetera. So I'll just hit go and we'll see what happens. So Copilot's gonna vibe code up an app. Okay, Scrum Spark is fully implemented. It has a home page, meeting page, summary page. Hey, let's just go explore it. So here it says open in the M365 Copilot app. This is Scrum Spark. Okay, it loaded up Scrum Spark. And this is just an app that Copilot created right now. So the title of my new Scrum meeting, the date, oh, it's got a date picker in it, set the time. It's got upcoming meetings right here. If I go to meeting, I can say for the actual scrum meeting, what I achieve, where I need help. So I can submit all these things, save my updates. There's different updates here and an overall summary. I can even export as PDF and CSV. So like it made all these things in my app. And again, I can tweak this. I can change this if I go back to Copilot, but it's really interesting in that it can create these apps. So if I go back to App Builder, so here's the Scrum Spark app. I can edit it, I can have other actions, I can launch it, share it, delete it, etc. So all my apps are tracked here. Now you might be asking, hey, where does it store all this information about the apps? It actually stores them in SharePoint lists and a SharePoint site. So I'm gonna show really quick to create another app and show where it's stored in SharePoint. Maybe I just wanna build myself a task app. Hey, build me a task tracking app that's easy to use and lets me track daily and weekly tasks. Let's see what happens. And we've just sped ahead to finish the app creation and it made something called Taskly. And by the way, all the data is stored in SharePoint lists. So if you wanna see where this stuff lives behind the scenes, just go here. And here I am, the Taskly app. It's got a SharePoint site, there's site contents, there's a bunch of lists. It's created all sorts of good stuff. So if you wanna dive in behind the scenes, this is where it lives. We'll go back to Copilot. So that's just a very quick demo of App Builder. You can define your own apps in the chat. You can create whatever you want. And a reminder, App Builder is brand new. It's available for our early adopter Frontier customers. And is it perfect now? No, but that's why it's in the early adopter. It's gonna get better and better and the apps are gonna get richer and richer over time. So check it out and have some fun vibe coding your apps. The second new agent is Workflows. This is also in Frontier and I've added it already from the agent store here. So here I am in the Workflows app and I've got some nice starter prompts and this is gonna allow me to create really complex workflows that maybe you might set up with Power Automate, but just with natural language that makes it really easy. Let's try this one here, Planner Task Summary. Each weekday morning, review all my planner tasks that are in progress or not started. For each task, include the title and due dates, etc. So I've got a nice prompt here and it's gonna send me a Teams message at the end. So let's hit go. This opens up the workflow pane, and this is a lot like Power Automate, but this is a bit more simplified. Now over on the left, you can see it's starting to go and set up that workflow, the triggers and the schedule, et cetera. So it's quickly created this workflow right here. You can see all the different steps. It's gonna look at Planner. It's got an AI prompt. It's gonna send me a message to Teams. Now I'm gonna hit Save, and this will save off my workflow. Okay, it was saved successfully. I'm gonna go back to the workflow tab. Now I can also now test it out. I saved it. Now I'm just gonna run a test to see how it works. So I'll hit test. Okay, workflow ran successfully. Now let's go to Teams and check out the message. Here I am in Teams and it looks like there's a new chat message. Let's go here. And there's a workflow, upcoming tasks. Okay, got all sorts of things. Now it started, in progress, in progress, etc. So this is a very simple type of a workflow, but you can imagine Back here in the Workflows app, we'll go to the main Workflows page. You can create all sorts of different workflows. And the ones that I've created, I've got a couple here. If I wanna go, I can hit the three dot menu. I can turn it off or I can delete it or I can just drill in and run it now. 
but you can create all sorts of complex power automate backed workflows right within this workflows app to make yourself more productive. The third new agent is the surveys agent, which uses Microsoft forms technology. And this allows you to make surveys and forms right inside a chat. So I'll go to all agents and I'm going to choose surveys here. And we'll add this. And as you see here, surveys can help build surveys, gather responses and uncover insights. And there's some nice starter prompts. Let's say I'm going to create an employee satisfaction survey. So this puts the prompt right in and explains what's going to happen. Now, when I hit go, it's going to actually go and use forms and quiz technology to create this survey. Okay. It's drafted it up. It talks about overall rating, detailed rating and open-ended questions. And it's right here embedded. It talks about next steps, but what I want to do is I can just open this up and this is using Copilot pages. So the Copilot chat moved over here on the left and now this is actually just the forms embedded survey right here, which is really handy. So it has all the different questions that it made, some different very dissatisfied, dissatisfied stars, open-ended feedback. You can add new questions. You can change the top. You can also do things right here, same technologies and forms. I can change the layout. Maybe I want to change it to be like this. Maybe I want to change the colors. Go into here for all sorts of settings about who can fill this out. The only people in Contoso, all the start date, end date, set time duration, all the things that you can set in forms are right here. And then if you want to see what will this look like, I go here. This is what it looks like on a phone. This is what it looks like on computer. But again, what's kind of nice is it's all right here on the left with chat. So there's some suggestions it has that, hey, change the culture categories to fit our team. If I go here, now it's going to go and update this. Okay. It has updated everything. And in real time, it updated these culture categories and see how it changed these to match exactly right here. So you can kind of real time use Copilot to modify that form and survey that you have. So it's pretty handy in that case. So I can keep twiddling. I can open it up in the full forms app. If I want to go to forms.microsoft.com, but you have a sense how that survey agent works. It's kind of a nice way to have a chat with the form in real time that you're creating. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.